Today I will show you how to make this blouse smaller. First you need to turn it inside out. Lay it flat and use an iron to remove all wrinkles. If you have a blouse that fits you, place it on top of the bigger one and mark its size. In my case I made the needed measurements and I should cut 4 cm from each side of the blouse. First I'm going to mark 4 cm from the edge of the fabric, so 4 sides by 4 cm are equal to 16 cm. Do you see how much we will remove? To maintain the same shape of the blouse, use the edge of the fabric as a guide. If you want a tighter fit on your waist, instead of making a straight line, draw a curve towards the middle. When you reach the sleeve, you should make a curve and gradually connect the end of the line into the sleeve seam. If you want to make the sleeve smaller, continue the marking till the end of it. Place pins on the marking. Make sure all the wrinkles are towards the middle of the blouse. Before you put the last pin, take a seam ripper and unpick the seam on the hem. So it should look like this. The pins are visible from the other side. Then rotate the blouse to prepare the other side. Take a seam ripper and remove the seam of the hem.
Student Foldable House in H. Make sure the seams of the sleeves are aligned and everything lays flat without any wrinkles. Take the pins out and place them again to pin both sides of the blouse together. Rotate the blouse, remove the wrinkles and use chalk to make marks onto the pins. This way the line will be exact on both sides of the blouse. Now remove the pins. Then once again you should pin the sides of the blouse. Pin the first side then pin the other side separately. I'm placing the pins about 1 cm away from the line so they won't be on the way while sewing. Now cut the excess fabric. Now the sewing part. Start sewing from the hem towards the sleeve.
And now, sew the other side. If you don't have an overlock, you can use a twin or a double needle. To use this method, first change the needle. Place the second spool behind the machine and thread the needle. Before sewing, use a mending needle to pull the overlock threads between the stitches. Finally, when you sew the hem, the blouse should be with the right side up. So the two parallel seams will be on the outside and the zigzag stitches will be from the inside of the blouse. My needle was bent so I will use the universal one. I will change the pattern to the triple straight stitch because depending on the manual of the machine it is suitable for elastic fabrics. If you use decorative patterns don't forget to lower the upper thread tension. First I will sew near the overlock stitches on both sides of the blouse. If you have a 4 thread overlock, you can skip this step. Then fold the hem and press it with an iron. I will sew two parallel lines using straight stitches.
then repeat the same steps for the other side. Press the hem with an iron and sew two parallel lines. Yeah, we are ready and now the blouse is smaller than before. If you follow this tutorial, I will be happy to see your pictures of before and after in the comments or you can post them on my Facebook page. I don't have a Patreon page, but you can support me if you give me a like or share the video. Thanks, see you soon!